Britain did not give Ukraine permission to use Storm Shadow long-range missiles transferred to Kyiv against targets in the Kursk region during the rapid offensive operation. The Telegraph writes about this, citing a source in the UK government. The publication noted that London had not changed its position on the use of its missiles supplied to Kyiv to self-defence and not for conducting offensive operations on Russian territory. We have clearly stated that the equipment provided by Great Britain is intended for the defence of Ukraine, the source told the publication. It also reports that the decision on what purposes the Ukrainian armed forces can use Storm Shadow for also depends on France, which developed these missiles together with Britain. Ukraine also asked the US to use long-range ATACMS missiles during the breakthrough into the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. Washington has not yet given its consent, the Telegraph notes. Earlier, President Zelensky, against the backdrop of the breakthrough of the Russian border and the offensive of the Ukrainian army near Kursk, instructed the Foreign Ministry and the Defense Ministry to seek permission from Western partners to use their long-range weapons. The head of state stated that this would speed up Putin's political end and the military defeat of the Russian Federation. But Dmitro Levos, international political analyst at the United Ukraine think tank, believes that Western partners don't prohibit Ukraine from using their weapons on Russian territory as Ukraine operates within the framework of international law. He shared this opinion on Espresso TV. There is nothing fundamentally new about the authorization to use our partners' weapons. None of our partners have prohibited us from using their weapons on Russian territory. The only restriction applies to long-range missiles that are of operational and strategic significance. We are not forbidden to use vehicles, artillery and other tactical level weapons, Levos explained. He emphasized that Ukraine operates within the framework of international law and is entitled to use various methods to defend against Russian aggression. We are not prohibited from using vehicles, artillery and other types of weapons as we act in accordance with international law. We have the right to use various means to repel Russia's aggression. Moreover, for the West, the weapons we use on Russian territory do not carry significant symbolic meaning and are not deployed deep within Russian territories, he added. The evacuation of the residents of the Krasnoyarusky district of the Belgorod region has started since the morning of today. The governor of Belgorod region Vyacheslav Gladkov wrote the information on the Telegram channel. The enemy has become active on the border with Krasnoyarusk region. We are starting to move people living in Krasnoyarusk district to safe places to protect the lives and health of the population, he said. Gladkov did not specify how many people will be evacuated and where they will be taken. I am sure that our servicemen will do everything to cope with the threat that has arisen, Gladkov said. Some 11,000 people have been evacuated from the Krasnoyarusky district in Russia's Belgorod region due to activity by Ukrainian forces, a Russian official has said. District Administration head Andrei Miskov said on the VK social media platform that residents left on buses headed for temporary accommodation, around 500 residents remain, he said. Krasnoyarusky district is located about 45 kilometers from the city of Sudza in the neighboring Kursk region, where the Ukrainian military entered on August 6. It is adjacent to the border of Ukraine on the western side, and Belovsky district of the Kursk region on the northern side. About the situation in the Belovsky district, the regional command center has decided to evacuate residents, Kursk Governor Alexei Smirnov said on social media, referring to an area with a population of over 14,000 people. The audacious Ukrainian attacks on Russian sovereign territory are aimed at showing its Western supporters that Kiev can still muster major military operations while trying to gain a bargaining chip ahead of possible ceasefire talks.